Okay, hello my darlings, it's Michaela. So I promised my mom a video on how to do lymphatic drainage for oneself for the breast. So lymphatic drainage is, um, it is a, it's a useful modality. It's something I don't do a ton here, but I certainly do it. It's a very appropriate for certain situations. Swelling, um, pain that you can't really touch that's not muscular, tooth pain, honestly, like sinus stuff, allergies, cellulite, um, and then detoxification, um, or having blockages to some extent, which is why, um, what my mom asked for specifically, like if a lymph node is blocked, like how might you assist that? The disclaimer I want to make is that if there is anything that is has like a whiff of cancer in your body or in your medical history, please consult with your medical health professional, okay? This is not meant for um, this is not meant for cancer treatment. That is a different type of training which I do not have and you do not have. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, so if there's any question or concern, please consult uh, your healthcare provider, and um, and if your body is in great standing, if your system is strong, um, or if you have questions, either do this if you have a desire, or please be in touch. All right. So the whole thing with lymph, um, lymph is essentially blood without the platelets and red corpuscles. So there is a point in your cells where oxygenated blood is exchanged for deoxygenated blood. And so basically, blood vessels get smaller and smaller where you get down to arterial capillaries and venous capillaries. So the arteries bring the blood, the oxygenated blood, the veins take the deoxygenated blood away. So at this exchange, there is fallout metabolic waste, cellular waste, and that is what lymph is. That is what lymph carries, okay? Your circulatory system is a loop and has a pump, the heart. The lymphatic system is a one-way uh, road, and its pump are our muscles, which is why we should work out. <laughs> In addition to vanity, um, it is something significant for many aspects of health if it has not been made overwhelmingly apparent to you in your world. Anyway, so lymph moves slowly, certainly depending on your lifestyle. It can get stuck, blocked, um, it can be super sluggish. And so at any rate, the, the faster it moves, the more, um, the more of it moves the better your body is in general, okay? And you might have specific things that really stand out where this could be uh, supportive and helpful. Anyway, so I just wanted to do a little um, demonstration over clothes just to kind of explain what one might do should they wish to, okay? For any number of reasons. Breast health is a hot topic. It's a useful thing to be aware of how you can support yourself um, before dealing with something catastrophic later in life. Um, anyway, so with lymph, we begin where lymph ends up, okay? We don't start at the beginning because essentially we can create a backlog if we do. So all roads lead to Rome, um, which is the clavicles regarding lymph, okay? So essentially, when one wish, wishes to do any sort of lymphatic drainage on themselves, the touch that you want to aim to recreate is something that has a little bit of pressure, but that isn't really aggressive. Um, lymph, the bulk of the lymphatic vessels in the body are capillaries that are anchored to the skin in kind of this like, adipose layer, the squishy, watery layer, okay? And so when you tug on the skin, you stimulate them, you activate them, you help lymph to flow, okay? If we go too deep, we bypass them and we hit other things, okay? So if you did nothing else, if you like, you know, thought about doing this while watching reruns on a Thursday evening, you would do something beneficial for your body. Okay, some people, I find this kind of relaxing, frankly. Um, so what you wanna think about doing is basically tugging on the skin and directing 
your emphasis, directing fluid, underneath or towards the clavicles. Okay? Slowly, great, several times, wonderful. Then you want to think about going to your armpit. So whatever breasts we're addressing, you want to think about going towards your armpit. And essentially you want to think about using your hand in a broad, flat way versus individual fingers, like a paddle. Um, so we're thinking about tugging on the skin, kind of drawing things towards the center of the body. Okay? Then essentially what we want to think about is um, envisioning creating four quadrants uh, across the breast. So basically like making a cross through the nipple and almost thinking about a four quadrants. One, two, three, four. And the order matters, okay? Because we don't want to prevent, we don't want to create a backlog. So we start working on segment, quadrant number one first. And so ideally, you'd be doing this on skin, under clothes, without clothes, however that works for you. Um, so I'm just gonna mock this. But basically, lymph comes in and then lymph goes towards the armpit, towards the armpit. So you're working towards the center of the breast, but you're thinking about pulling out, okay? And then perhaps, doing that again. This is called rinsing. And it just, again, helps prevent a uh, backlog. All right, quadrant number two, we start where we want it to go. We work down, pulling out, doing that again. I'm doing this in a hurried fashion <laughs> for your attention. Three, what I have been taught to do is actually for three to come all the way around. Some literature online is a little different. Trust whatever feels best, all right? You're not gonna do anything, you're not really gonna screw anything up. Um, so I'm just kind of coming around and then this third quadrant, kind of coming down and around and I would just do it again. All right, la -dee -dee -da, -dee -dee da And then the surprise, the red herring in this whole equation is quadrant number four, which actually goes this way. So maybe a little more hello over here. And then essentially thinking about kind of coming up towards the clavicles and even in towards the sternum a little bit. All right, doing that again. All right, and then I would think about coming back here because we just wanna reinforce where this is going, make sure that everything is cool and kosher up top. Okay? So essentially, 20 minutes is what you really wanna be doing. Um, shower, heat, lymph loves heat. Um, deep breathing, I don't think that I said this already, belly laughs, exercising, skin brushing, using a poof in the shower, but this is the path. If you wish to address the breast in a more specific manner, a more um, precise manner, this is the, um, the approach that you would take. If you just kind of want to like, whoop, we're just going to like amp things up a little bit, fabulous, great, very good, okay? Um, and then lastly, I just want to say people get all sorts of gooey about the, the buzzword detoxification because it is highly important for our bodies. However, detoxification is a constant process. So awesome if you want to do lymphatic drainage to yourself like every couple days for at least 20 minutes. Amazing. To support detoxification on a constant basis, which is how it works, other things are quite useful. So if you want to know more about that specifically, I talk about this a lot um, for people that I work with in the realm of weight loss and fat burning because it helps a million things in addition to that. If you want to know about that, please be in touch. Happy to share information and get you a little more educated on the matter. All right, that's it. I hope that was useful. Um, please be in touch if there's any question, concern, additional needs. Um, I would love to be helpful if I can.
All right, so that's it. I hope that was interesting and useful and um, love to all and until next time.